Poppin' Tea Squad, it's your girl Keisha, and I'm here with tonight's All Tea, All Shade, Married to Medicine, Season 6, Episode 2 Review. So, before I start my review, I have some behind-the-scenes tea for you all. So, you all know Quad is on the Sister Circle. She is one of the co-hosts. Well, she had this to say to Dr. Gregory on an episode from this past week. Dr. G, get your paperwork in. <laughs> As you can see, Trina is now a co-host. Trina Braxton is now a co-host on the show. So congratulations to Trina Braxton on that. Um, Dr. G, get your goddamn paperwork in. You niggas don't want to be with each other no more. Go ahead and get this goddamn divorce. I'm sick of you and that loudmouth bitch. So, on tonight's episode, Heavenly is worrying the shit out of Alora when we start off this tonight's episode. Damon come in. <laughs> Hi, everybody. <laughs> in his scrubs. That nigga gonna die in them scrubs. She tells him about the leather and lace party and Mariah saying she had receipts. He was cheating on her. And Damon say, I don't even know why she talking about me. Why would she make something up like that? Why would she say something mean like that about me? I never said nothing to mean to Mariah. Never. That bothered me a lot, buddy. Because I never done that. <laughs> Because when he said, why would she say something mean to me about it like that? Why would she be mean to me like that? <laughs> I felt bad because he was like a little kid that's getting bullied and don't know why the kid is picking on him. I did feel bad for him. I don't think that he's cheating on um on heavenly ass. Would he cheat? Yeah, if given an opportunity. But Damon seemed like he's too goddamn scary to even do shit. Um, we go to Dr. Contessa's house. She's fixing dinner for the family. Her husband comes in and, um, I just want to know what is going on with Contessa's hair this season. Last season, her wigs looked really good. She had some of the best hairstyles of last season. This season, she's slapping these wigs on her head. I don't know who in the fuck is gluing them down. They look horrendous. Girl, and even in her green screens and her confessionals, you know, that's when they really bring it all together and make sure that they're looking their best. And she looks her absolute worst. And I'm not understanding what the hell is going on. Did she fall out with her stylist from last season? But you need to make back up with that bitch immediately. So she's telling her husband that her daughter Layla is eating sushi when she starts to choke on it. She goes into action immediately and pats on the back and does a finger sweep in her mouth. She has it under control. Um,. I just had to give kudos to Contessa for just jumping right in, taking charge of the situation, not being panicky, not being afraid. She jumped right into Dr. Mo. She did not flinch. She, you know, handled it impeccably. I know that when I'm in stressful situations like that, I'm normally calm. So I would have been that same way. I don't like it when shit like that happens and people get the hooping and hollering and yelling. Like, that pisses me off. That makes me more scared. So shout out to her for the way that she handled herself. Um, her little badass daughter, though, after that, was still fucking around playing with food and shit. <laughs> so she tells her husband that her father uh, thinks he's sick again and he has a lot of health, health issues. Um, she wants him to come to Atlanta and spend some time with them. Her dad was in and out of her life growing up and had a substance abuse problem most of her life. Her husband says if he comes, he needs to spend time making up for lost time with her. She gets emotional and starts to cry because she knows he had a problem growing up. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's still her because every, you know, daughter, child, regardless, wants to have a relationship with their father. So, Quad Films with her sister circle co-stars, honey, Selena Johnson and Rashawn. And I was like, well, wow, 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 wow. Um, damn, she replaced the, 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 the Married to Medicine Wives real quick. That was a shady boots moment if I've ever seen one. She didn't chuck them hoes up the do. She don't need them hoes no more. She is giving them her ass a kiss. So they have quickly become friends and family. She doesn't feel judged when she's with them, but she says it's tough with the other ladies. Now, when have the other ladies ever judged you? She's mad at the ladies because at the reunion when Andy asked them certain questions, they gave their honest goddamn answer. It wasn't like they were 
talking to her. You're on a fucking review. You, I mean, reunion. You ask me a question. I have to give a fucking answer, bitch. Don't get mad because the answer ain't what you wanted it to be. This is my truth when it comes to your ass. So, quiet. get somewhere and sit down, your old entitled ass. Girl, bye. Um, she says they turned their back on her and haven't called her since the reunion. She gets emotional and says she didn't get married to have a divorce, but her husband was in a hotel with another woman. Um, I just call bullshit when it comes to the shit situation with the other ladies. My thing is, she doesn't want to film with them because she doesn't want them to ask her questions that she knows production is going to make them ask her. And she don't want her business out there. She don't want to look like the fool. She does not want to be Jackie this season. She want to keep everything to herself and dish out what she wants us to know. And that ain't what you signed up for, sis. Don't try to hide now because the tables have turned on you. So you had a lot to say when it was Jackie. You had a lot to say about what you would and would not do. But now that you did go through it, now you ain't got nothing to say. You was keeping that shit on mute all last season, knowing damn well what your nigga did. But now that it blew up in your face, now you want to be mute. All right, whatever. Um. So Toya's playing another party that she can't afford for her birthday. But once it's making it about Eugene's promotion at work, it will be a medical theme party. Simone comes home with a picture from her at the leather and lace party. Girl, she thinks that this picture is sexy. And I'm just looking like, this is like some shit you took at Sears Portrait Studios. <laughs> it's becoming painfully uh, uh, obvious that uh, Simone is not a sexual sexy person she has absolutely no idea what being sexy is i can't believe she thought that that was like doing something and she took that photo to give it to cecil like that was really gonna rile him up with some shit he came in there looked at that shit and was like it's a nice picture like when a nigga say it's nice that means like you all right looking but it ain't nothing to run home to your mama about girl so she makes a comment that another man would be lucky to have that picture of her lies lies sis lies so he feels they need to get to a place where they don't need a therapist as a third party to their relationship she feels they still need it they both call each other stubborn she wants to be heard and decides to head to bed because she uh feels like he treats her bad and she doesn't want to have sex um i understand where cecil's coming from like at some point we got to cut the middle man out but at this point in their uh where they're at they still do need a therapist um, they some compromise that has, has to be done between them if they're going to try to work this shit out. They cannot continue to live in separate households. She cannot to continue to withhold sex from him as a weapon and as a form of punishment. It's just so much that needs to be done. I keep on saying this over and over. That marriage is done. Throw it away in a trash can. Just be great co-parents to your children. And go on about your lives and be with somebody else that's going to make y'all happy. Because Simone is not invested anymore. Um... Heavenly goes to see a doctor by the name of Dr. K, who is an anger management doctor. The doctor asks her, when was the last time, uh, no, uh, asks her one thing that happened in the last week that took her over the top. Heavenly says, this chick, I think, <laughs> I can't even do the voice. This chick, I think, something wrong with her. <laughs> she keep on overreacting, and she lied. I'm thinking, damn, all I do is tell the people the truth. <laughs> Dr. K say, well, have you ever heard that truth, honesty, without compassion is brutality? And Heavenly say, so the truth hurts. It's not done with compassion and love. <laughs> so he just looking at her like a duh, bitch. So he Googled her and shows her still pictures of herself when she's angry and acting a fool and with her family. And Heavenly starts to cry and says, you know, everything I ever wanted happened. So why am I just so ugly to people? <laughs> Oh my god, you an evil bitch and you turned up for goddamn reality television. That's all that is. All that spiritual journey bullshit is that. Bullshit. So, it's the day of the party. The space looked great. Toya feels some type of way that Quad ain't coming to the party. Contessa husband arrives and says that she's not coming because she's been at the airport all day trying to pick up her father. His flight was delayed. She was there all damn day. He get, gets to Atlanta. He's not feeling well. So she has to take care of him. It's a whole big mishigash. So Cecil loves Simone in her nurse uniform. Now this was what he found sexy, bitch. This is sexy, uh, Simone. So Damon arrives in his scrubs like he always do. Hey everybody. <laughs> so Mariah arrives with her, her nigga. She says that she almost came looking a mess in some scrubs with a greasy wig, <laughs> like heavily, but decided not to be messy. Cecil is tickled, honey, by her shenanigans. 
Everybody gathered to surprise Eugene. They all, yeah, surprise! And Eugene standing there looking like, what the fuck's going on here? Like, he is so confused. Even when they tell him the party is his, he's still confused. It was poorly executed. And Heavily's confession, when she said, you know, I love the way Toy uplift her husband. I mean, she got shit else. She ain't got shit else to do. <laughs> I was like, now see, that's shady. And Toy, you need to feel some type of way. And that bitch keep on pointing out the fact that you just a stay-at-home mom. So you need to been going off on her, bitch. So Toya leaves, um... Toya is mad that uh, Contessa didn't come. No, Toya learns that Contessa didn't come. They explain to her why. And to her, she couldn't come. Um, to her, why she couldn't come. Oh, they, they explained to her why she couldn't come. And she's mad that Contessa didn't call her and tell her herself why she couldn't come. Um, bitch, because she was busy. She had shit to do. That's why she sent her husband on her behalf to inform you that she would not be able to attend. I'm sure when she has a moment, she will be able to reach out to you and explain to you herself what was going on. But that's why she sent her husband, you uncouth ghetto ass bitch. So, whoo. Uh, she feels like Contessa has been acting phony since last season when she talked about her taxes to Simone. And I mean, they really wasn't talking about you. It was telling the goddamn truth. You had just got over the whole tax, if, uh, the tax situation where you owe the IRS man. And then the first thing you do with your ghetto, oh, trying to keep up with the Joneses having ass is go run and throw a goddamn lavish party that you really can't fucking afford. And what she was saying was true, bitch. That's what being a friend is, uh, all about. That's what friends are for. So, <laughs> all the wings of love, only the two of us, no matter where we are. Why am I singing Jeffrey Osborne? Anywho, so Heavenly speaks to Mariah. She's like, how you doing, Mariah? And Mariah say, I don't talk to Dennis. I'm a doctor. <laughs> and everybody started laughing. And she was like, you know, hi, Heavenly. How are you doing? And Heavenly tells her she's scared to joke around with her. And she won't do it no more. And I was like, I know you won't do it no more because she got your ass. She ragtag that ass. All you got to do is cuss her ass out one good time. And Heavenly will back the fuck up off of you. So um, they bring up trying to bring the men. Um. I'm sorry, where am I at? Uh, Cecil tells the men that he and Simone are still in separate houses and try, not trying to rush things. they like, you know, I can understand that, but at some point, this shit gonna have to change. So the men bring up trying to bring Gregory back into the fold so he doesn't feel isolated and big country, Jackie husband, uh, sympathizes because he was just in his position and a lot of stuff was said about him that wasn't true. And even Jackie had to look at that nigga when he said that shit in hell confessional. Like, nigga, what? Everything that was said about your ass was true. Girl, bye. So, um, Toya tells the girls that Kwa said she had a prior engagement and would try to make it, but obviously she didn't come. Jackie sees where Kwa is coming from with not trying to be around the women and not trying to be judged. But at the end of the day, bitch, you're on a reality show. Suck it up, ho. So, Damon is eating when this young white girl walk up on him and start, start talking to him. And I felt like that was a plant from the producers to get heavily riled up. So Haley, of course, rushes the over really quick to see what the fuck is going on. She's like, I just want to know what y'all got in common. <laughs> so the girl said, you know, I'm just talking about you, nothing else. So she was like, oh, okay, because I just wanted to know. So Toya gets the microphone and makes a speech about her core friends being there. And anybody that's missing ain't her core friends, mean and quiet and contested. And my heart dropped when she said that because I was like, why would you say some shit like that? And on a microphone to a group of people and you're supposed to be praising your husband whose party this is for why are you being messy why are you being like that towards contestant all because she didn't physically pick up the phone and call your black ass i really felt like in that moment that was misplaced anger and she's really more mad at quiet but for whatever reason she ain't gonna come in quiet that way because you know you can't say shit to quiet without her saying you dead to me and she don't want to have shit to do with you but i felt like she just went way overboard contessa husband Scott says that she didn't come because her dad, you know, flew into town and was sick. And you could tell he was visibly upset by her statement. So I said, oh, I wish she would have called me. And Scott said, well, she don't need to call you. It's a hierarchy of what's important to her. And I was like, you better speak a motherfucking word. Come on, Scott, to stick up for your wife. So Toy said, I have parents too. And Eugene's like, come on now. Like, not right now. Because he knew Toy was doing too much. Heavily gets contested on the phone. And, um... So she can tell Toy why she didn't come. And I'm like, that ain't even all that necessary. Like, who the fuck is Toy where you got to kiss her ass? So Toy said, oh, you can talk now? And you heard Scott in the background say, Toy, you're not that important. And I'm like, bitch, you're not that important. Like, who the fuck are you? She was wrong as fuck. So she puts 
uh, the call on speakerphone with the microphone up to it so everyone there can hear the party. That was so low down. She's talking about somebody being phony and fake and just trifling and mean spirit and mean girls. That was just way overboard. Like, why would you put her on blast like that and try to embarrass her and have a private conversation with her in front of everybody? That just went way overboard. What she said about you last season did not warrant what you did to her on tonight's episode. And if I was contest, I would never fuck with your ass again. You old goat face looking bitch, Billy goat gruff looking asshole. So, Toy says, everything okay with your dad? Being snarky, like, that's not nothing to play with and make fun of. Like, this girl father is sick. Like, what? Are you kidding me with this shit? Like, I could not believe Toya tonight. Contessa tells her the truth, you know, about, you know, my dad is sick. I was waiting on him all day at the hospital, I mean, at the um, airport. So I said, you know, I understand. And, you know, the last party you came to, you said I spent too much money on red carpet. So it's cool. You know, it's absolutely okay. Tend to your father, boo-boo. Bye. Love you. And hangs up on the girl. Child Scott was pissed off and said this white man that he hopes Toya uh, keep that same energy when she sees uh, Contessa. And even Eugene was like, you know, that was a bit much. Like, that was wrong. That was foul as fuck. Like, fuck you, Toya, for life. Fuck your horse face, goat face, sheep face ass. Like, girl, fuck you with your broke ass. Girl, fuck you. That was fucked up. All because she didn't call you and tell you she couldn't come? Like, I want to see if you're going to have that type of energy when it comes to quad not coming. I want to see if you're going to try to embarrass her like that on next week's episode. Girl, fuck you for life. Fuck you. I never liked your ass. You just finally got your weave in order, and that's barely hanging on by a thread. Girl, bye. Fuck you with your broke ass. Oh, anywho, let's talk down below about tonight's episode. Make sure to um thumbs up this video, like and subscribe, hit the notification bell button. All of my social media information is down below. My new novel, While We're Young, is on sale. Um, the Kindle Nook and Paperback links are down below. And if y'all want to send me just a little something, something, just as a thank you, my PayPal information is down below. <laughs> I ain't too proud to bet. Okay. <laughs> Love y'all very much. Be on the lookout for my basketball wise review. I'm very excited about it. Love you. Bye.